I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Let's see if we can actually upgrade our build a little bit because I believe we, hmm, that we need to we need to be able to sell things. The, the problem is we're still getting really mean about the fact that we can't sell our items um, right now. So I actually can't liquidate all of my gold in order to actually buy stuff because I'd like to buy like a smoldering sigil. Can I buy that? Uh, let's see if we can do that. Will it let us buy it? Uh, no, I can't. Ah, because I really want a smoldering sigil for my axe. So I have more duration, but it won't actually let me buy it. Uh, because I am a new account. I am a noob. And the game will not let me. But that's fine. We're going to have like a really good um, gearing up stream. The next Zero to Hero will have like a great gearing up segment. Where we can get all our gear in order. And sort that out. Should be good. Okay. Let's see. We've actually done a really good rotation of events today. Is there anything else that we could actually be doing? We can do the Gendaran Fields Leyline Anomaly. We could do... Uh, let's see... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to finish doing my map exercise. I'm going to get myself set up on Gendaran Fields. Let's grab a few waypoints here in Gendaran Fields, because that's the next anomaly. Uh, that's going to be coming up in just a moment. Okay, so I'm just going to get this unlocked. Then we'll go and see if we can find something else to do. I think we should be well over, we should be well over um, uh, 100 gold now in terms of our cap. That means we've actually earned a lot of gold today. So bear in mind, we started out at 53 gold today, guys. We've been playing for about three and a half hours and we've actually managed to get our way up to 100 gold. That actually means that um, when we're able to use the trading post, we should actually be able to fully finish gearing up our character and get it ready for instance content and start doing some, start doing some of the easier strike missions. Uh, and there. Should be good. Should be good! Get some tier 1 fractals, maybe. Keep going with our key open world meta events, of course. Get that rolling. Work towards our kind of first ascended set. Getting some really good economy going. Getting some daily income, weekly income. Uh, and then starting to unlock some of the story. Like, the, the big thing is we want to unlock the story, right? Uh, we've got to get these um, all these episodes so we can increase our gold per hour. We can uh, get access to gearing options in the living world. All that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm just going to kind of get all the waypoints around the edge where the anomaly is going to spawn. I think, I think I need to get some kind of in the central area here. Because I think the central area it can pop up to. Let's see, where are we right now in terms of gold per hour? Uh, okay, what is our account value now? I'm refreshing. Let's see what we've got. Oh, there it is. Our account value has sky... Wow, we've done really well today. So let's actually do some quick math. So we have 119 gold and we started with 53. So we're actually at... Six we've earned 66 gold so far today. Just by playing the game in about three and a half hours, approximately. And we've actually been doing some unlocking as well. Um, we've been running around the map just unlocking stuff. And we haven't even reached our full potential. And we've already got 66 gold in one day. That's not too bad, right? Not too bad, if you ask me. For one day on a new account. And, you know, I think that's why it's really important to actually discuss some of this stuff publicly. Because that probably sounds like a lot to a lot of you gamers, right? A lot of gamers, you know, people say, man, I earn like five gold a day. Like 10 gold a day is how much I earn. I do not earn much gold in Guild Wars 2. What are you doing? And I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. Like, how is it done? Well, I've done it live on stream. And I will continue to do so on our Zero to Hero account. Insane. Absolutely insane. I love to see it. Okay, so Gandharan Fields is nicely unlocked. Uh, maybe I'll go grab another waypoint just over there in this corner. So we're good there. Uh, let's see. What is next then? So the anomaly... Uh, oh, wait. Actually, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go doppelganger. I'll do doppelganger after this. We can maybe do doppelganger into Forged with Fire. Although that might be a bit tricky to get to. Because uh, Vabby is a bit... Uh, I don't think I've got Vabby unlocked, actually. So it might just be good just, just to unlock Vabby. I might actually use a teleport to a friend to get there. Because Vabby is... 10,000 centuries away. Okay, great. Gandharan Fields is unlocked. Look at all these waypoints and core maps. Crazy. 
Alright, nice. Do I actually... Oh. Ah, that's slightly unfortunate, isn't it? I, ah, that, yeah, I knew I forgot something. I actually haven't unlocked um, any of the part of the fire maps. I guess we better go do that. We better go do that. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's roll. It's unlock time. Let's take the scenic route. Oh yeah, I guess like the exit is like over here, I guess. Can we actually make it to the doppelganger in time? We maybe can. We might be able to catch the doppelganger. Or we might be a little... Uh, can we maybe just barely catch the doppelganger? Let's see if it's up. It should be spawning basically now, right? Yeah. Ah, great. Yeah, we actually have just in time for the doppelganger. Okay, good. Then we're going to have to kill this to actually get this chest. In Bar the Fire, a little bit of a tip here. See those little chests, gamers? Like the trade caches? Those are actually good. Um, try and open them if you can. They are actually good. Right. So we need to get here to the desolation. I'm not going to leave the map, though, because we're actually in a meta map, so we don't want to leave that. We want to quickly go down, get the waypoints unlocked so we can teleport all over the place, and then get to Vabby. Okay, the doppelganger is up, so we need to teleport over there real quick, otherwise we're going to miss it. But I want to see if I can grab a waypoint right here in the south first. Hey, see you later, Boots. Is there any way I can actually... Is there a waypoint around here? I'm not sure if there is. Oh, I think there's... Wait, is there one over there? Oh, I'm going to have to run here again, aren't I? Yeah, I don't think there's a waypoint. Oh, there's one... Oh, great, there's one there, but I just completely ignored it. All right. Where is the uh, the doppelganger? Just another one of these events that basically gives you uh, another one of these events that demonstrates to you the joy, the joy of heroes' choice chests. Okay, we've got to see if we can actually uh, get fixated here and summon the doppelganger. Kind of a fun event. It's kind of a cool idea. It's maybe a little undertuned. But what the doppelganger does is it will actually kind of imitate what you are, so it will use the same skills as you in a way. It's kind of a fun, fun event. Alright, who is hunted? Who's next? Oh no. It's, it's like getting people who aren't doing the meta. This is great. We're getting memed here. Have we got it located yet, actually? We still haven't found the doppelganger. We're, in, we're, in difficult, we're having problems here, guys. The doppelganger is not being locked in. Oh, the player is moving, though, so they perhaps actually know where it is. They just need to... Ah, there we go. We found it. All right, here we go. Look at that. It, what is it, actually? Uh, it is... It's a Mesmer. All right, it doesn't really matter. This is not the most challenging event in the world. A lot of the Path of Fire events, pretty easy. Not really doing a crazy amount here. Just kind of sit there and take it a lot of the time. Very good. Exciting gameplay, you know, we're, this is, you know, we're, this is riveting. I can pull in some of these in Cleveland down at the same time. More targets is really good for Firebrand because the more targets there are, the more damage you do. Permeating Wrath. So that if we hit enough targets, we get even more AoE burning. Huge damage. Don't want to get hit by that. I'm not sure what that is, but I don't want to get hit by it. That's the Guild Wars 2 way. If you see a bunch of stuff... Just don't stand in it. That's okay. And I'll give it a gemstone, and boom. There it is. Let's see if we can get to Vabby um, in time. We will run. We go to Vabby. We surge. I think my raptor... I need to start leveling up my raptor. I, I can't get the masteries yet, though, because um, I haven't done the story, so I can't make it go faster. can't increase the speed or leap more. Why are you running to Vabby? I'm just trying to unlock all of the really good value meta events uh, today. So I'm going to go and try and do stuff like Forge with Fire, right? I don't think I'll make it to this one, uh, but I can do the Anomaly up next on Gendaran Fields. But yeah, I'm just going to unlock Forge with Fire because it is actually a good meta event to do. It's very quick. Uh, you get some champion bags. You get your Hero's Choice chest as, again. Uh, it's like a good event to have unlocked. Good event. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go. We have the waypoint over here. Let's do it. Huh. Oh, wait. Is that going to work? Can I make that jump? Let's see if we can. We're going to make the jump. Go! Easy. All right. I think we're making some good progress here. 
Yeah, wing through is very buggy. Short stream today. Uh, yeah, but you know, I'm kind of having fun. I'm enjoying this. It's a, it's a really fun project to work on. God damn it. I got trapped again. I'm not paying attention. I am not paying attention. I got baited by slow there as well. I keep uh, interrupting my tome too because I have slow. Should we kill? Should we get? Let's get our revenge. Whoa. Ow. Let's take out this uh, champion Morden Crescent Hierarch. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Boon cropped, huh? Ow. Ow. I am in pain. Whoa, look at all those condies. Holy shit. What a serious condition situation here, guys. Oh, I got to try and dodge that, I think. Gonna line of sight him a little bit. We've got to get rid of all these ads. Is he summoning those ads, you think? We will now engage in an epic battle. All right, let's get in there. He has no Define Spar, which kind of sucks. I want a Define Spar. Oh, nice. He kind of got me again there. He's putting down that AoE. I don't think I can really stand in that. I think that AoE sucks. It will destroy me if I stand in it. So I'm not going to. Okay. The ads coming in are kind of annoying here. Oh, no. That's actually quite bad, isn't it? Need to be a little bit careful here. Dude, he keeps summoning ads. Maybe it's actually not summoning ads, though. It might just be, like, the same one. Okay. And this is why boons are good. Because getting corrupted is fucking bad. The corruption is not good. Ow, ow, ow. All right, we get the cleanse here. We can definitely abuse our, abuse our line of sight here. I think we've got rid of most of the other ones now, though, which is good. Now they got those out of the way, we're kind of in business. Okay, here we go. I think they actually. I think he's gonna get a break bar at some point, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he's gonna do this attack with like the suck suck. As long as we're not in that radius, though, it should be okay. All right, here we go. You gotta know what the mobs do, guys. And now we do know what the mobs do. I actually wanna get rid of this guy. Ow, ow, ow. This is the joy of Celestial Gear, my friends. Resistance is gonna save us here a little bit. We need a little bit of a hand. Honestly, the other ones moving in there are pretty annoying. Ow. We can just get a bit of healing here. We have our tome coming through in just a moment. And that's when we can really, uh, we can really reduce ourselves, you know? Although, I don't think we actually need to use it right now. I'm not going to. This is the epic adventure. We've gone into the world and we have found a worthy opponent to fight. A worthy opponent. That's a terrible usage of this ability. Ah, wasn't very smart. That's okay, though. Get out of that, because that is a boon corruption fucking fiesta. He got me with a wallop. The ads are respawning. Okay, take out the ads. I actually need to back off a little bit. I'm going to line of sight a bit here. Going to use this to cleanse my conditions. Oh, great. He, look, it's got a huge brain. The mob is highly intelligent here. High intelligence mob. Want to get rid of these uh, this occultist too, because it looks like it buffs the uh, the NPCs. What are you doing? What what where are you going? What what is he doing? Wait, what? The AI is absolutely trolling, dude. He's doing his knockback, so now we can go in. See, we learn. We learn what his abilities do, guys. Okay, we learn. Oh, enter my he enter. Oh. Okay, dude, he's actually, like, comboing me. Holy shit. Nice meme. What a combo setup there. I think we're actually fine, though. Yeah, we're fine. I got baited by the Awakened Soldier. The Awakened Soldier, like, completely memed me. He's got a giant hammer. Oh, has he actually changed his weapon set? Dude, that's pretty pog. You know, it's, it's amazing, like, how much detail goes into something like these, like, random NPCs, huh? Wait, oh, interesting. Ow. Yeah, so now he has this, like, charge attack. And a bunch of boons. I can't remove those either. It actually sucks. It'd be nice if I could. But they cannot be removed. Oh, boy. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I don't have a dodge right now. If he does that charge, I'm kind of fucked. Oh, no. He is going to do the charge, but it's fine. We can just heal. Apply a bit of prop. I, thought I was trying to stay out of range there, but I just failed. It's really hard to kind of gauge the range that he has. It's like perma-quickness. This is fucking cheating, dude. 
How is he allowed perma quickness? Well, I guess to be fair, I'm allowed perma quickness. So that is allowed. The NPC. This guy's harder than raids, man. I don't really want to engage him just yet. Okay, we've got to be a little, a little careful, you know? That resolution is really annoying. Not having boon removal, I could really use like a sigil of absorption right now, you know? Could be really nice. Oh, stability does not seem to really work super well on that. I think it's because it's a very different uh, type of skill. I think that type of skill is actually a little bit different to uh, regular CC. I think what it does is it kind of just moves you, right? Although that was a knockback. But he has quickness. It's hard to see. Hard to see what he's doing. Fortunately, we are playing Firebrand. We have a lot of damage. Although being melee here isn't ideal. I need to get rid of this guy now. Wait, it's I'm still getting sucked in. Jesus. Oh my god. You guys see that, that effect? That visual effect? Are you kidding me? It's crazy. It's a wild visual effect. We really want to get rid of these though. Because they're going to overwhelm us otherwise. We're getting a lot of value. Like, can you see how much we're healing from having Lawmaster? Like, Lawmaster and our symbol heal is really juicing us here. High value. Oh. Unlucky. And get this pull. Oh, I wanted to pull that mob and... No. Oh, God. That was a, a huge punish there. A huge punish, my friends. I actually didn't know these things, like, changed their mode almost. He, like, completely changed his uh, toolkit when he goes below 50%. Okay, here we go. All right, there we go. We got him. I think we got him. He has regeneration. We can let him heal. We can give him another shot. Oh, I thought I was out of range for that, but apparently not. Oh, we can... Wait. Safe spot him. Let's go. He's going to do a thing. Oh, really? Are you serious? That was fucking bullshit. Nice fucking aim hack, buddy. Okay, I actually need to not be here. I am... I've got nothing. I'm gonna line of sight him in case he does his charge attack. I don't want to die to his charge. He's like draining me dry. I'm gonna hit him around this corner. There we go. In general, when you're doing something like this, you can definitely abuse the AI really hard, right? Oh, unless it just hits you through the terrain. And I guess you can't. I think we got him, though. Nice. Can stun break that. There we are. We're out. Easy heal, dude. Okay. Kite gaming. And this is why boons are good. He has like mega damage reduction the entire time. He's gaming hard. Our oh, Aegis carried us there. I love Aegis. Big fan. And look at that. There we go. Oh, unless he actually like clutches us out now. But no, he's not going to. All right, we did it. And look, worth it. Champion bag. High value. And we got some intense music from that as well. There it is. We did it. We defeated the open world boss. That's actually like really cool. He's even got like a phase too. Pretty cool fight. Proof of Valor against the Awakened. Presented to the Ghost of the First Bit Divine and Desolation for a reward. Ooh. Nice. Huge. Let's roll. We got him. Yeah. We did it. GG.